simple friends all you can fractures if simple can be well managed with tension band wiring but when these are complex injuries in which there is extensive combination then often we think about plate but the question arises whether the plate is sufficient because you see this is the combinator olecran fracture and this was well managed with a locking plate but this was the outcome so is the locking plate doing any purpose here so we'll be seeing what extra we can do for these cases so that the patient function is restored in a better manner so if you see this fracture this is quite combinated you see combination is here here and here also so only this fragment is something that we are able to delineate properly and we think that this case is good for locking plate because tension band wiring is contraindicated in case of combination so locking plate is definitely the option as per the principles so something like this was done you see locking plate has been placed and two or three screws are placed in the proximal fragment as well but you see the difference between these two fractures both have been fixed with locking plate the purchase of the screw in the proximal fragment is good here compared to the hole here this has one two three and probably fourth screw behind it and fifth five screws holding this whole chunk but here there are only two or three screws and those are small screws because the moment you try to over penetrate the screw the joint will be somewhere here so this was the outcome in the early post operative period probably when the patient started doing range of motion exercises then a ct was done now you see this fragment this fragment is quite small and it is very difficult to gain good screw purchase inside this fragment and probably these screws are doing nothing in this case so you have to treat these fractures as the avulsion injuries whenever there is a small fragment here you have to treat that as an avulsion that means besides fixing remaining fragments with the locking screws you have to address this fragment as an avulsion injury here the combination was extensive here and the screws are not holding any fragment so probably in this case the plate can be used as an anchor for repair of the avulsion you see here what we have done we have tried to take multiple craco bites through the triceps and passed the terminal part of the fiber wire through the transosseous holes made in the proximal fragment so this was the proximal fragment and we have created two holes in this direction so ultimately we are grabbing the tricep here and make the fiber wire exit through this tunnel that we have created here so ultimately we are having two threads that are exiting from the proximal fragment and those threads have been made to pass through the holes of the locking plate so the plate here is just acting like an anchor a good anchor which will secure the tricep avulsion so ultimately this thing was done and you have to ensure that multiple bites are taken in the triceps so that the stability of the fragment that you are going to secure with the plate is good so ultimately something like this was done you see the fragment has been secured with a plate and there are no screws in the zone the plate is only acting as an anchor here so why didn't we remove the plate in this setting we have to contain all these fragments with the plate so we have taken multiple fiber wire bites and secured each of this fragment with the plate so the plate is now acting like an anchor which is securing each of the major fragment through a fiber wire loop and this tricep avulsion fragment that means this fragment is secured in a well manner because of the bites of fiber wire that have been taken through the holes of the plate somewhere here so ultimately it is secure these small fragments are also secured with the help of separate bites through the plate holes so plate is only functioning as a good broad anchor for containing each fragment in its place this was the six months follow-up of this patient you see the fragments are getting resolved and the reduction might not be good but you see this fragment that was the avulsion fragment is still in its place compared to the previous x-ray in which it was grossly displaced and retracted proximally the fiber wire loop that has been secured here is doing its purpose and good thing is that even though the radiograph might not look good because of the resorption and so many things happening around the bone here the functional outcomes are going to be good because the patient will be having full flexion and full extension and you see the tricep there is no kinking of the tricep the tricep contour is very smooth that means it is snugly secured with a plate let's come to another case so this was a revision case in which you see the fragment is quite resorbed here and has migrated proximally and this fragment belonged to the olecran osteotomy that is done for the distal humerus fracture here the osteotomy was probably done quite proximal that's why the fragment appears to be small again the same thing the screw purchase in this small fragment is going to be suboptimal so something extra needs to be done 
and also this patient had developed a sore somewhere here and that's why this plate needed to be removed so what we did again the same thing we secured multiple bites of crack hole in the terminal part of the triceps made drill holes through this small fragment and secured this small fragment to the proximal ulna something like this was done and you see this was an immediate post-operative radiograph even though the reduction is not very good because most of the fragment has already been resolved the tricep now has been secured to the proximal fragment you see there are two holes one hole is here and one hole is here so the second hole is for the tension band that we have created because we have to give extra stability here and one hole is created for repairing the triceps directly to the proximal ulna spanning this small evolution fragment so ultimately something like this was done we had taken multiple cracko bites and secured with proximal ulna by making a drill hole similar to the tension band wiring hole and ultimately this patient underwent implant removal for improving the range of motion and you see the fragment while getting resolved again similar to the previous case but you see the contour of the tricep it is not getting kinked or retracted proximally that means it is in continuity with the proximal ulna unlike here in which you see the contour of the tricep has been lost because of the retraction of the proximal fragment ultimately the same thing the outcome is going to be good even though the radiograph might not be appearing perfectly anatomical because these are the revision cases you don't expect good radiographs you expect good functional outcomes so ultimately the functional outcome is satisfactory so is there anything that you can do better in the initial surgery so one thing i've already told is to span these combinated fragments you take multiple cracobites in the triceps and secure the triceps with the proximal ulna proximal intact ulna that means you make a drill hole here then take multiple bites of fiber wire in the triceps and secure that fiber wire here that means you have to create a knot somewhere here that will create a force vector that is making impact on the proximal intact ulna so ultimately all these combinated fragments are going to be stress free and there is another thing that you can do just to increase the stability what you can do this this since this fragment is quite small you see in the ct this is very small in 3d also it is very small so placement of screw in this small fragment will not yield a good outcome rather you can splinter the fragment or the hold of the screw will be suboptimal so what you can do you can place two k wires through this small fragment and secure that fragment with the proxima ulna bend it as much as you can so that the fragments gets impacted with the k wire and then place the plate that means your k wires are now buried under the plate and these k wires are not going to migrate because they cannot migrate here in this direction because of the band here and they cannot come out because they have been covered by the plate so ultimately these k wires are going to provide good stability so you see here we have placed two k wires you need not to be parallel you can place in any direction they should be stable enough to secure this fragment then you can place the plate like we have shown here there's no need for placement of screw in this zone otherwise you are going to shatter this small fragment and then you can place the remaining screws in the routine fashion and start a retention motion because your fragment will be stable now first because the tricep is now putting force directly on the proximal ulna and second thing your fragment is now secured with kvas that are not going to migrate so ultimately this was a post-operative radiograph ap view and letter view and this was the follow-up radiograph at six months you see everything has healed the radiograph is also looking good the combinated part has also healed and this proximal fragment has not displaced and the key wires are also stable because they are contained under the plate they are not going to come out so ultimately the outcome was satisfactory both radiographically as well as functionally so i hope this short presentation on tips regarding managing the combinated oligon fracture will be helpful for you in your surgical practice if you have any queries you can just put those in comments thank you